what I have is this teaching. Uh -huh. And in this teaching, it's a almost counterintuitive process. Rather than dealing with the problem at hand, which right. is I have fear. How do I get rid of the fear? Mm -hmm. Which is, I mean, a very natural approach right. to, to, to things. Say, I, I've got a problem. How do I solve this problem? The, the, the teaching itself is, is, I would liken it to when you go out in your garden and you see you've got weeds. Uh -huh. And you say, okay, I've got to get rid of these weeds. So you take uh, uh, the lawnmower or you, you take a, a, a scythe and you go through and you cut, cut the weeds off. And now you've got a, a clean space. And then, lo and behold, a little time passes and you got weeds again. <laughs> And you say, okay, what do I do? Well, you got to find a, another tool to come and clean, you know, these weeds out. And it's, in the moment, it's satisfying when you've got this, you know, clean space and the, the, the weeds are gone. But as long as the root is left, then the, the weeds are going to keep coming back. So the teaching is really kind of one in which we go to the root. And it's a much often more time-consuming <laughs> and uh, not immediately satisfying kind of process to to get to the get to the root. Mm -hmm. But that's the only thing I got. You know, I I don't have any tools for lopping the tops off. I mean, I simply say there's lots of them. Find one that's, with, that, that you like and is useful for you and, go, you know, enjoy and go with God. But if you're interested in getting to the, to the root, then we've got this teaching here. And that's what, what we're concerned with. And, and the focus of the teaching is always on this sense of our, ourselves and what is underneath the fear. What is at the root of the fear? Yeah. Every fear. Every fear has its root in the same place. And the teaching is a collection of pointers directing your attention to that. And when this, the, the teaching is alive in you, mm -hmm. then your experience is to be feel some freedom. You know, you, the peace and harmony in daily living that Ramesh talked about is there. Mm -hmm. And that is the seeing of what's true. The, the seeing of how things are. Which includes an acceptance of what is. I mean, it is the acceptance of what is. Which is that life's dangerous. <laughs> Life has always been dangerous. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the Cuban Missile Crisis or whether it's Nazi Germany, or whether it's the Roman Legion marching down on you, or whether it's Genghis Khan sweeping, horde sweeping across, destroying everything in its path. I mean, the world is a dangerous place. And people have been experiencing incredible, life-threatening situations for, throughout human history. The peace and harmony in daily living is not conditional on the circumstances mm -hmm. that are outside. Mm -hmm. 